As you see, number six, we'll have to use those numbers later. For an orb, I believe. Okay, let's go here. And here's, I think, the starting room, but the end of it. I think this is the starting room. Well, there's the super flint power up ends. Is this the starting room? Looks like it. Yeah, it is. Hello. Our world is wet again. We all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. <laughs> and it is seashell. Okay, let's go get the super flame out of power up and do this first. Or super mine power up in here. Oh man. Come on. Go. Gotta hurry to the sharks. Come on, I totally killed him. See, there's a life for that. But I totally killed him, man. those other four sharks, I believe, somewhere. I think there are four others. Okay. I think we have to go this way to do it. Six towers thing. Um, can I do that now? There's number one, I'm guessing it's in the starting room. Four. What number is this one? Why are you looking at me? Three. Six. And we can also go up there and do some stuff. Actually, I think is that, that's where number one and two is, isn't it? Probably. So we have this little area up here that can be pretty hard to find. A bunch of gems over here. And then we have Hunter over there for a little mini game. <laughs> That guy, who I think is the one that wants us to go in the towers. So those are our other two orbs. Or wait, have we gotten an orb yet? No, those are our three orbs then. Because I think Hunter has two games. Okay, so it must like 75 gems. Let's talk to this guy. The water workers have kidnapped six of my children and hidden them in the tops of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast the doors off the towers. <laughs> borrowed. If you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. Difficulty four. Some they have obstacles in them, and some of the later ones are a little bit tough. Like this one just has this single barrier. And once 
once you save the first one, the second one opens and stuff. So yeah, let's go save the children. Ah crap, I ran into it. Um, that was badly planned, but okay, third and three and four in that area. Let's go get healed since I stupidly got hurt. Come here, sheep. Come on. <laughs> Come here, other sheep. Thank you. Okay, where's Zoe? Oh, I don't know which way to get out of here over there. <laughs> okay, three. Yeah, this one has... Was it? Yeah, and then the next one's are like crabs and electric barriers and all that stuff. Um, the one I haven't seen is five. Yeah, these really aren't that hard. Well, I think I know where that is. It's a good thing that they stop the barriers once you go down. That'd just be annoying. Okay, I think it's this way. Uh, I think it's this then. Yeah. That was easy. And then we just have six. And we've killed all the enemies now. Um, where am I going this way? Number six was this way. These ones are moving, so you gotta go with them. There we go. And we saved them all. You did it! Now we can swim in peace. I heard that you were collecting these orbs. Please take this one. Okay, and we just gotta find the rest of the gems and do Hunters 2 games. Let's go do Hunters. Oh, I saw you. Just about the right size to ride on his back. Yes, yeah, so we gotta do too many games with the manta ray. Great. <laughs> Hop on his back and guide him through each of the rings of bubbles as it appears. Yeah. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. How do you what? How do you dent a manta ray? So basically, we just go through all the bubbles. We gotta do this once for an orb, and again, a little bit harder for another orb. And you also see this manta ray in uh, the third game too. <laughs> see that one was really easy. Well done. I suppose I owe you something for that. Here, take this orb. I found it in one of my flippers. Ah, uh, hunter. Especially his voice actors. He does a really good nice job. Zap. Names like forty-one orbs or some. Now that the manta ray's tamed, I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to take him through a harder course? Sure. Don't quote me on that how many orbs there are, because I really don't know. My guidebook might say, but I don't know. Is 
that supposed to be harder? It's incredible. You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper. <laughs> Why do you have orbs in both flippers? Okay, so we got all the orbs. You just gotta find the rest of the gems. To help us with that is gonna be sparks. Okay, he's pointing up here. That's, that's ten. Now we're missing ten. I think it's in one of these rooms. I think I know where that is actually. Without using sparks, because I remember in this map missing ten. Um, and I think I know where it is. Up here. See? <laughs> Sometimes you just remember things. Okay, we're done with Aquaria Towers, and I'm going to end this recording session here, and that's kind of short. Next time we will do the Speedway, and we will fight the boss. But next time we'll do the speedway, fight the boss, do the hub world, get all the stuff in the hub world of the next world. I believe learn how to climb and come back to the summer forest and do all the climbing stuff that we need to. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. Okay, Spyro, jump through that hole in the floor to get down to Crush's dungeon. I'll help you by tossing sheep through the hole if I can catch them. Good luck. Man, we're not going to fight Gulp yet. Man, we got to fight Crush. But we will do that next time, so I will see you guys then.